very quiet in terms of traffic this evening and uh, heading down straight down that way not much moving about I've got all of our leads have put these bears uh, on a trail you're supposed to sort of go and try and find them all there was one in the station there's one there I see them all over the place it's been sort of a trail for kids to do or something this is the uh, the concert hall here and then this one is the back of the uh, well there's actually a university property there and the restaurant under here but like uh, it's the back of the uh, the library and things in here and the uh, art gallery and all this fine buildings so yeah so this is the library and then it just flows through into the art gallery and then that flows through uh, into another art gallery as well so there's a couple So there's uh, some facades being renovated here. Looks like they've knocked something down in that corner. Can't remember what was there now. They've knocked something down and they must be uh, going to do something. And there's like, they've got the facades being protected or something on those buildings there. So, yeah. Another one of those bears you can see. There's like a blue bear there. That's had the main steps going up to the art gallery. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of this has changed here. They've got like a cycle path two ways on here, separate from the road. And they've changed what was allowed to go up and down these things now. So yeah, something's gone from there. Been demolished. And uh, they've got the roads all sort of blocked and things. And they are changing all the road, road layouts as well, all down near the stations. Completely different ways you can go and all that now. So some of this, and then, and then that's going in that direction, is the sort of civic quarter where the, lots of the, the legal uh, teams are and things like that, and finance district. So there's a lot of headquarters for different legal firms and um, finance firms and I think it's the second largest sort of legal center outside of London or you know the largest outside of London I think uh, and then they've got like a finance district as well yeah, but also to serve all of that they've got different restaurants and cafes and bars and things uh, in there, busy in that one quiet in that one very quiet in that one this one here has like a lot of outdoor seating but it looks quiet there's a couple of people but mainly all the restaurants seem to be empty up there yeah, let's have a look at this one there seems to be not many in there lights are on but there's nobody sitting in the seats that one so seems to be a hit and miss about which ones are popular and which ones are not on a Sunday night Okay, so we're coming down to the station. You can sort of see where that bus is going down there. You couldn't know, couldn't previously drive in that direction. It used to just be a one-way system. But uh, they've changed it all, and there's roadworks down there, and roadworks at both ends. So I'll probably go... Uh, which way shall I go? I'll go this way. Head down here. There used to be a lot more bus stops as well here, but they've sort of removed, like, there used to be two lanes of bus stops, I think. They've sort of removed all that and put more pedestrian areas here, more pedestrian areas there. Sort of narrowing the roads and things and changing the layout. So there's a blue plaque on this. We'll have a look. Shall we see what it says? Yorkshire Penny Bank. Then became the Yorkshire Bank, 1856. Flamboyant premises opened in 1894. But previously, the infirmary from 1771 was on this site. There you go. 
So they demolished the infirmary and uh, put the penny bank there. Yeah, interesting. I don't know a plaque on this one, but this seems like a newer building, so it must be about maybe what was previously here. The coloured cloth hall, 1758, stood on this site. Ge splendid Georgian cloth hall. Well, you know, what did they replace it with that for? Look at it. Not very good, is it? So we're coming now through to this part of the station. And I've got an option of which door to go in. The back door there. Or the front door here. I'll go the front door this time. Yes, yeah, so the whole area here is just no cars at the minute. Completely blocked off while doing all the renovation work on the roads. And even here, I said the station, you can't drive and pull up right to the station or anything. So, yeah, I'm going to head in this way. And there we go. So the taxis and that, they used to pull up here. Like taxi rank used to be there. They must have to be doing it somewhere else, maybe down down there or something. You can see a big uh, East Coast mainline train there. We're going to get this one, I think, yeah? I think this is the right one. Still got 10 minutes to go. I think this is the LT train here. Yeah, this is the LT train. So we're going to get this one. The train I've just getting is just leaving and heading in that direction. Another train from Milton is just arriving. There we go. So I'm at Menston Station. That's it. Crossing the bridge and then heading over to our house, which is over that way. There's bats, see that? Look, bats flying low.